Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Play is the Thing with your host, Judy Sleed. Today's guest, humanitarian, philanthropist, Broadway producer, all around great guy, Tommy DeMeo. Now, here's Judy. Thank you, thank Boy, you. Was that your son, Jeff? <laughs> Yes. Boy, I, I want to take him wherever I go. <laughs> He's great, great yeah. voice, great for, for, absolutely fabulous. Whenever I do a show, he has to do it. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. He has to come to New York more often. Yes. How, he, when did he, he become producer? Fabulous uh, produ director. I'm the producer. He's oh, so director. you're going to give me the money for my yeah. pay, <laughs> and you're paying Jeff. This yes. is good. So, yes. do you have a checking book with you, or you have cash? You know, great I'm producers. Sorry, you have to talk to my secretary. I don't deal with these things. Trivia things. That's yes. good. That's, I would answer that the same way. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning. Great. <laughs> Anytime money, somebody wants money, I say, oh, you have to talk to my secretary. But eventually you have to sign the check. I have to what? Sign the check. Well, well no, she, she does that for she me. She does that too? Yeah, she, I taught her how to do it. Well, this is good. You're learning too much, too quickly. Yes. I used to do that for you. I know. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes. do, you still do it. Yes. That's how many true. more checks you have a boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, how many do you have? I don't know, Tommy. Have you been on Broadway lately? Every I night. Mean, looking at at uh, at the uh, plays because the Emmys, are, Tonys are coming up on the eighth of June. They, 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 and, we have uh, the, a big production. This, this it's going to be fabulous. The Tony Awards. And all the shows. I noticed that a lot of the shows are revivals. Not that many, actually. I think a lot. Most, I think more than, more are revivals. Well, you could read it with, with who's yes, the, the revivals. Yes, well, I remember the, the Twelfth Night, The Raisin in the Sun. Yes. And uh, I don't know. It says revivals on it. Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh. That's <laughs> a, a weird title. For a show. I just I saw it opening night and I saw it again because people think oh you have to see it you have to see it, and you know I, I have I nominate for some of what's being a producer for so many years, and it's gotten great or mixed or great reviews, but a uh, who uh, Patrick uh, what's his name Neil Patrick uh, Harris Harris is yeah. the star of it, the last ten, you know I always keep saying that the last ten minutes of the show is magnificent. It's magnificent. Isn't that the one where he dresses up as a woman? Yes. And I mean, you it, can't it, even tell. But he doesn't make a pretty woman. <laughs> he makes a woman. <laughs> he just looks odd, but he works hard. He, it's an hour and a half, no intermission. Oh, wow. And he's on the stage. But the, there was a guy that performs with him equally on stage with him. The whole band is on the stage. But this one particular guy is on constantly to, with him. And at the end of the show, he, who you think is a he, comes out as the most gorgeous woman you've ever seen, who is a woman. Oh. <laughs> but a talented, tremendous talent. I think she's nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Or act, I don't know what they're going to do with that one. <laughs> I have to read. And then he comes out as, an, a, as a, a man in a little bathing suit. <laughs> but the last 10 minutes of it is mind-blowing. It's like when you see... Um, uh, the, what is it called? Uh, the Elephant, uh, the, the Disney show. The uh, Disney show? Lion King. The oh. first 10 minutes of, of Dying, uh, Lion King is magnificent. But the rest of the show is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I mean, how's that going to It's the same thing with Rocky. The last 10, 15 minutes of Rocky's show, masterpiece. But you have to wait. And the, one of the reviews said, Usually the theater is from 8 to 10, and you enjoy 8 to 10. In Rocky, you enjoy quarter to 10 to a quarter after 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there's moments like Cats. Cats, everybody thought it was a good show, but without memories, there would be no Cats. I mean, it would have been that, that was, song. Yes. It, and a little night's music. A little night's music. Even with the biggest stars, Elizabeth. In fact, Elizabeth Taylor did the movie, and it never came out. It was so bad. Really? She did two movies in her lifetime that never even came to television, I think. It was called The Blue Bird, and they did it in Russia with millions of dollars, and they opened it at Radio City Music Hall about 30 years ago, and it never came out after that. She bought all the rights for it. That's how bad it was. And she did A Little Night's Music. I think it was her. 
Yeah, you know, I think it's, yeah, it was Little Night's music, and it never came out. Now, in this uh, Tony thing, they have Tony Shalhoub in a play. What play? I forgot the name of it. Act One, I think it is called. Oh, yeah, he's nominated. Yeah. Do you know who's yeah. it, who it is about? No. It's Morse Hart. Oh. Kitty Carlisle's husband, who was a yeah. great writer, yeah. one of the greats. And I, I, even I knew Kitty for all those years. Until she, right. you know, she was a great singer. Um, we, she did a cabaret show. In fact, two weeks before she passed away, she was at the um, Feinstein Room in New York City at the Regency Hotel because she's a singer. She was an opera singer as well. But uh, she always used to say, I have my little date waiting for me, Tommy. Oh. She, uh, she was really a very active woman until she was. So I his. like Tony Shalom. So I hope he's going to. Well, you have, what else have you seen him in? On television in Monk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I long love ago. That show. Yes. And what they have a lot of revives. Who, who, who else started in Monk? Uh, Is it a recent show or like? Tw I'm not no, a it's, they're doing their re reruns now. Like I Love Lucy is 50 years ago, or was yeah. it 10 years ago? Well, no, it was not even 10 years ago. But those are great TV shows. The Monk, the monk. I love watching it. It's yeah. funny. It's very funny, and the way he solved the murder in one hour. <laughs> well, oh, was it was it like uh, Murder She Wrote? Was it, oh, yeah, something like that. Except he. He was the star. He was fabulous. Angela Lansbury is doing a show. I saw her just recently, and she told me she's doing a show. Uh, she's been in several shows, but this she's doing a show, I think, with Vanessa Redgrave. If I'm, Vanessa Redgrave is in a, a new series, but I have no idea. She just told me. She's and in you know series. who else is nominated um, You know, for a Tony is Tyne Daly. Oh, I love her. She's fabulous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a very good show. Oh, Chevy, I found this out there. <laughs> Time Daly, girl, uh, that she's a she's mother. She's nominated for yeah, she's, Best Well, she's actress. great. She's, uh, I mean, she was yeah, in I, a master class. Mm -hmm. she was, uh, she's become a very, very, uh, she's almost a legend on Broadway, yeah. actually. She's like Angela Lansbury. She's become like uh, Zoe Caldwell. I mean, she's just, and Vanessa Redgrave. They're, we have legends now. But the show is about a mother whose son yeah. dies, and he wants, she wants to know how he died oh, and who was his sad. closest friends. So she comes oh. to New York not knowing her son was gay. Oh. And she moves in with her son's lover oh. as friends. And that's the whole the purpose. That's a the, play? It's a magnificent play. It's a round mouth, I think. Magnificent show. Oh. And Ellen, uh, what's her name? Parson. Uh, El, uh, Esther, uh, Estelle Parson. Estelle Parson. Yeah. She's yeah. in a Broadway show. She's nominated as well. And she's, uh, you know, she was, she was nominated. She won the Academy Award for Bonnie and Clyde in 1960-something. Yeah. And uh, she was Roseanne Barr's grandmother. Or mother? Mother. And, uh, but she's a great, uh, she's a theater actress. Very good. And there is this new person a young woman called Latanya Richardson Jackson. She's she related to Raisin in the Sun. She's in. Yes, she replaced Diane Carroll. You remember Diane Carroll? Yes. Diane Carroll was doing rehearsals, and she was the, the one of the stars in the show. She plays her part, and it was too too exhausting for her, so she never opened in it. Oh. They got her in two weeks' notice. Wow. And they put her in it, and she's nominated for it. Uh, yes, for yes. But uh, Diane Carroll, I saw some of the rehearsals in, the, in it, and it was, she was. Oh, it's called Estelle Parsons in The Velocity of Autumn. Yes. And they also have uh, Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. I mean, they have these weird names. <laughs> Last, two years ago, we had you mother F hat. <laughs> <laughs> and you, on the marquee, it <laughs> says, your, your mother, dish, dish. But well, it was I'm glad you're talking like that, because this is a clean show, I tell everybody. I should have taken a shower. <laughs> oh, my God. You, I forgot yes. to take a shower. How could this be possible? I, it's like and these expressions, these people, you know, it's cool. And I go, really, you should put a, sh a shirt on or a jacket or something. You feel cool? It's a, you know, do you know what that means? I, I, years ago, I didn't know what it, you feel cool. Cool. Yeah. Oh. 
know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what happens when I you have children? I think that's already passe. What, what, is, what else is? Well, uh, now they say you rock. Really? Yes. First, I got insulted when somebody said, "Oh, you rock." Maybe they use. And what? now it's a it's a compliment. All these. Well, I don't know because you know the old people <laughs> shake. <laughs> yes. But it's good. Are you going to come to the Tonys this year? Well, <clears throat> no. I would like to Tony to come to me. <laughs> Tony to come to me. Well, to eventually, how you play? Less complicated. <laughs> well, no, it's not. With your yeah. talent and your great qualities of writing, you, you somewhere you have had a show off Broadway. Yes, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to have a revival. See? Yes. A revival sometimes moves to Broadway. You never yeah. know what tomorrow brings. That's never right. underestimate a person's talent. Right. Because I always think somewhere you will get the Tony, and when you <laughs> get it, you know what to say. I owe it all to Tommy Domingo. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've given you that speech in your pocket for 20 years. <laughs> But how is the show doing? Are you rewriting it? Because you, you no, seem to. No, you know what? I know something. The funny thing that it was um, taped, or, or you know. We're in Guildhall or in New York City. No, the one that I did at the synagogue when I. Oh, asked, that one. Oh. I asked my daughter I, when she came from Woodstock. I put the camera in her hand. I said, "Tape the whole show." I so, was with her sitting there. Yeah, I know. And you know so who else was there? Roz. Roz girl. I have to say, God bless you, Roz. May you live in peace. So I just watched it yesterday, and I was just amazed how good it was. Well, because you're normally so busy, you don't <laughs> concentrate and sing the show. That's your, but so now you sat it through was, it. Uh, so I, I just figured this is just so good, I have to do it again. Well, there's your answer, and you yeah. will do it. Yes. And you might bring it to Broadway. I don't do it for Broadway, but I certainly could recommend some people. There's a, a show called uh, I love something with bananas on it. It got such great reviews. It was supposed to be only a six-week run. It's now about a year, and they're considering Broadway. I mean, so I think thing. Broadway needs some new plays because there's so many revivals. Yeah, but we have some great. Yes, there are. A, a lot Vice of, of men, revivals. Vice of Men. We have. We have. Yeah. Uh, Sun Rolls and Rises. We have Violet. We have. Uh, many. Lay Miz. The Where? Miserable. La Miserable. Yeah, La Miz. Uh, great. I yeah, mean, it's a great production on Broadway. We have some great it is. productions. Yeah. Uh, I saw oh, it. and the, the Cripple of Inishman. Oh, it's fabulous. I saw that Did in you? Guild Hall. You know who stars in it? No. Uh, and every night there's uh, it's amazing how people are uh, uh, from uh, Harry Potter, uh, uh, Cliff Rick. Oh, yes. Uh. With the, but you should see the people. When you go now on, on the streets of, of Broadway, you'll see uh, of mice and men, James Ferriero or someone. Thousands of people wait to see these people. And they close up streets now. Yeah, people. he's a, uh, he's a, uh, he outgrew the. Uh, Harry Potter. Uh, Harry well, Potter. Well, I, I did Equus with him. The revival of Equus two years ago. Oh, really? And Liz McCann did it as well with me. I don't know why I can't think of his name, but Clifford uh, Randall. Well, I can't do the but it's too early in the morning. Randall Cliff. I Radcliffe. Don't yes, yeah. Radcliffe. It's too Daniel early in the morning. Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe. You see that? Yeah. Well, Together we make one person. <laughs> 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 it's good. I am so tired. It's unreal. Oh. Uh, and uh, oh, you you talked about Rocky. Also. The last 10 minutes is fabulous. Yeah. But it's making and a little more. And bullets money. over Broadway. Oh. And the Bridges of Medicine I hate the I hated the movie. I, I do, yeah. She's good in the show. She, she's nominated. Uh, O'Hara is, uh, is nominated for the show. Well, they have on oh, the orchestration, Jason Robert Brown. It's a, it's a show. It, but it's it's not a, a show. If and Then is a magnificent musical. Yeah. I, I loved it. Oh, so you made two. So oh. you made two of these. One well, I think one for you to keep as a memory block <laughs> that I'll sign with you. And one, because you, you haven't seen, well, tell us about your show. When are you going to start rewriting it, or what are you doing it as no, is? I, I don't need to rewrite it. It's good as What was the is. show we did uh, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, with the Red Dress? Do you remember? With Errol Wilson and all that? Oh, Gregory. Oh, Gregory. Yeah, that's that the awful, one you, yeah. you liked. That. I love that show. Yes. I really did. It was a great show. And you're such a great writer. I don't understand what's happening. 
Well, it just needs a little uh, effort. Foot, footwork. It effort. needs, yes, that's, I, I use I, effort and footwork. It yes. needs more with more the mouth and the foot. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you get more done talking about it and asking for people than with the foot. Yes. Unless you want a kick, swift kick. Right. But you must, and you never give up, Judy. No, I never. As a matter of fact, this uh, Saturday, some friends are coming over, and I'm going to play some of the music from my show. At your house or at the theater? At my house. I just had my piano tuned. Boy, oh boy. You need it. Well, why don't you do it at the, one of the halls? You know, the big room. Well, the I big know. Room. I just you don't want to be clustered in a little uh, apartment. I know, but they never heard. But you have a piano at, at the uh, auditorium here? Don't oh, you? there's a piano here, yes. And you have a piano, piano also. You should do it for camera-wise. Well, I will. I will do Is that it. your foot or your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to do it? Are you going to move it? With your, because you should because really gravitate to that situation. Yeah, because I'm just amazed what I did. I mean, I did such a good job with those plays and the songs I wrote. But you, were, you I know you for many years. You used to babysit for me. <laughs> 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 like that one. Anyway, but you have great talent, and you've always had an ambition that's unreal. You wrote the book. Everybody raves about it, the Cray Round book. Yes. You were way before time with that. And your sister loves that book. Yes. <laughs> uh, the, the magic of the marker. Uh, what's the name of it? The magic of the marker? The, the name of the color. The, the fight of the crayons. The fight of the crayons. I mean, it got great publicity. It sold a lot. Yeah. And uh, now uh, you're on to new things. And the play is a good thing to do. Because all is. you need is a, a good hit, and you have some great material in that. Yes, and I'm pursuing it. I'm very yes. proud of you, but yeah. you have to start really pursuing it because right. you have great talent. Are you going to do Old Gregory? Well, no, not, no, I'm, I'm doing uh, Daily Bob. Is that's that's the is one. With that's your life, it's about your, yeah, your life that's as, what, as a kid you, in Budapest. You, yes. Which is great, but that's what I tell you, right. Yes. People love great things that have a great meaning to things. All right. right. And that has a great, in fact, we just discussed that before the camera came on, about you seeing something that, because every time I used to tell you, oh, come and see this movie, you say, I don't want to think about Hitler or the Holocaust and all that. Yes. And, uh, which is, but it's such a big part of your life. I remember when we went to Budapest. Yes. <laughs> 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 and you showed me your house that where you lived and all yeah. that and you know brought back happy memories as well as sad memories right because you were you you really were the per last victims of the, what was it in the 40s i was the only survivor yeah and your yeah. mother and your brother mm -hmm. brought, your brother's name was tommy yes and your mother's name margaret margaret yes like margaret fontaine almost and your father Peter. And they died shortly before the war ended, actually. Yes. And yes. But it's a story that's a beautiful story, because you always, I know you as long as I'm living, and I know that you always talk about them, what right. they did, how they looked, how, how, how well they were, and how you went. And, I mean, you've had great stories, and I always keep telling you, write about it, write about it. Yes. Although she did write about a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> a parrot, yeah. A parrot that talks. Yeah, that right. was old Gregory. Old Gregory. <laughs> Which was quite amazing to, yeah. to come out of your head. You know, it was yes. just amazing. But the it story is. about your family is very heartwarming. And the, 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 the dinner you had and the, the, the food, you, you know, it was just really very monumental. Right. And I loved it. I know you do. So now that you read it, I, <laughs> or saw it again in a way. Yeah, I just saw that tape and I... I watched it. I said, gee, this is really good. Really good. Well, I told you I started it a long time. <laughs> but what about the one, the other one, the one that, that was off Broadway? It was Old Gregory. Did you have a yeah. tape of that? Oh, Because the audience no, was full. I have. Oh, yeah, remember I the do. audience was full of stars? Actually, do you remember? Actually, I did it once over here, in, right in this space. And? And then I did it once at Guild Hall. Who, right. Do you remember who was in the audience that night besides Earl and Rosemary? Oh, and, uh, oh what's that was in, in New York yeah. when we did that. We had Earl, we had oh, Rose, yeah. he wrote that about was, it. Oh, that was Georgia Day. That was the musical. Oh, that's the one. That's the one where I'm going to play the piano for the, for my friends tomorrow. Because uh, you had a star-studded yeah. audience. Then we had the party at Adele's house at the Bonnie right. Hotel. Do you remember? Yes. 
And uh, what's the lowest Bennett was there? Bernie did the Bernie Bennett did the PR for it. Yes. You had the world at that that yes. moment did, and you wore a red dress. Was it the red, oh. singer, the red, <laughs> the red dress? You remember that red dress? Well, yeah. you were size two. Yes, I was. <laughs> well, you're size four now. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> but you looked magnificent. It was such a beautiful night. Do you remember? I remember Idel just serving that food at the Lombardi Hotel. How beautiful body you had. Yes, the that. Lombardi. When I'm in New York, I always try to go past this on 56th Street. East yes. 56th and Lois. The Lombardi yeah, Hotel. And Lois lived across the street. But Lois and Bernie had their office across the street. Oh, yes. He you remember? Because they PR used to live office. Yes. I just yeah. saw Lois about uh, a few weeks ago. She looks more gorgeous than ever. But you look the same. You haven't changed. Should I say the same thing to you? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my $5. Give me your $5. <laughs> we, all, we all look good, thank the Lord. You look fabulous, honestly. Wow. And you just celebrated your 60th birthday, yeah. which is fabulous. <laughs> That's the email Jeff, my son, sent to me. Something about you just celebrated your 64th birthday. Which is good. <laughs> the reason why he said that, you got your check at 62. Yeah. <laughs> so you at least received a check for two years. So how does it yeah. feel? How does it feel? What? To get your t checks now after your 60. After oh, your my oh, it feels very good. Yes. It feels very good. I just looked at my account and the check just came in today. Did it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice, actually. Yes. You know, but, you know, if you had been in this, I, I could see these people that have been in the Actors Fund and the Equity, and all, they, they really do a great job of providing lots of money for them as retirements. Yeah. You know, Equity, they take care of their people, you know, which a lot of people do and a lot of people don't. The, between unions and this, the actors really could never starve with such great care that their union gives them, which I must applaud them. They're fabulous. Yeah, they take care of their own. Yeah, well, they take care of uh, mm -hmm. uh, AIDS. They take care of uh, breasts. They, they, you know, there's all kinds of divisions, but they do take care of them. Like you take care of your own. You give yeah. a lot to You yeah. went to a, a meeting the other day about the uh, Holocaust. ADL. What is it? ADL. It's uh, Anti-Deflammation League. What does that mean in America? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is the supporting situation? Well, it's actually, it's, it was a, a meeting for most of the people who came, what called the, it's called the Hidden Children. Oh. People who were... Hidden from in, the... Yeah. I just saw a play just recently. It's on Broadway now. It's something with fire off Broadway about this gentleman who's Jewish, came from the, con did not go to the concentration camp. Yeah. But he was hidden by his cousin. Yeah, it's a hidden child. Yeah, I probably he, know him. <laughs> oh, it's a great play. It's on board right now. Great, great reviews. It opened last week. And he has three children. But he, he can't like his children, and, he, and he's bitter because he feels that he, he, suffer, he didn't suffer enough. Because all his relatives and family suffered, yeah. who died, who, who was gave horrible stories. I so know that he, was exactly what happened at the, at the meeting. Well, there's I a play. To. It's called Something with Fire, and it's magnificent. It just opened. Two, I went to the opening Sunday. Open Sunday. Mm -hmm. and I will tell you. And he was he couldn't relate to his children because he felt. I'm they, I'm, look, I have a, a, he has a... It's a survivor guilt. Yes, because he survived and he's a big pub, uh, he runs a big publishing house and he has three children, mm -hmm. all very... His uh, son is a big architect, but he calls him uh, a pencil boy. His, <laughs> his uh, daughter is a big actress and she, he calls her a waitress. Oh. He, he, does, he feels so guilty for himself and that his children are successful that he helped. It was yeah. a magnificent show. Really, yeah. I just knew that you reminded me, and and he just couldn't deal being good with his family or anything because he had such a bad survivor's you know. guilt. That's and this is a survivor. Is. This is survivor of fire or something. It's off Broadway, and you mm -hmm. should see it. It's magnificent. Really, isn't that weird? Well, I'll try when I trek into the city. It's a big trek from the Hamptons. You got long legs. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I do it three times. I'm always, I live in the city. Well, you're a yo-yo. You go back and forth, back and forth. Well, I like the weekends in the hamburger. For your too. next birthday, I'm going to give you roller skates. I think you once gave me roller skates. When I was about six years old, I still have them. I'm like, you. I don't throw anything away. <laughs> do, are you getting better with that, throwing things away? No, no, not really. Not really. I don't know what but we're going to do with all your papers. <laughs> I do have a lot of papers. And pictures. What do you have, a room full of uh, albums? Yeah, I do. I have a lot of papers, a lot of pictures, and now I have a lot of those DVDs. Which you have to convert. <laughs> oh, those round things. Yeah. Well, you have memories. Great memories. I do, yes. Well, are you going to go back to uh, Budapest eventually, soon? Because we had a great I time. Do. We had a great time. I want to get that dessert, you know. The, uh, oh, the, the guest thing you put at. The, it's called the... Oh, it was delicious. Chestnut puree. Che oh, what? Chestnut at the puree. best restaurant. You remember yes. we went to the number one restaurant in Budapest? Yes. And then we went to the famous restaurant with all the desserts. And we and had the coffee. And gypsy players. And you called, out, called them and said, oh. is, this a, is this a normal <laughs> cup of coffee? And they said, in, in the Budapest it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you for coming. It's over already. You're getting rid of me so <laughs> quickly? <laughs> You're booting me it's, out? It's, it's great having you. And I want to thank Lupita for doing my hair. Looks beautiful. I want to thank all my underwriters. The recent one was Julie Ratner. You had to thank your, your producer. Your producer? Oh, my director, director. He's fabulous. Jeff Sleeve. I want him to introduce <laughs> me. I, I love it. <laughs> and of course, uh, Lena, who is the expert. She does everything. I sh Lena did all these beautiful decorations. It's and who really dresses gorgeous. you? Gorgeous. Who's your dresser? Oh, and I want to thank Tommy for this pearl and this uh, bracelet. And what else? He's always dressing me. He's always giving me presents. You deserve it. You're I can't great. wear everything you give me. I know. They're size two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I outgrew some of so, them. Some of them are too big, too. So, yes. so, I love this song. You know how long ago that song is? And these are the lyrics. You had written the lyrics to this song. Who did the music? I did. It's beautiful. I don't know why nobody picked it up. I know either. And um, you could see me on YouTube. If you just tune in to YouTube, I have a lot of my shows there. And this show will go on as soon as I give it to Steve at the library who does this for me. You have a beautiful collection of beautiful people to help you. It's wonderful. That's because you're good and kind. Yes. So, uh, I really am happy that you came. I had a lot of fun with you. <laughs> <laughs> you always, we always have fun. It's good. Yes. I know.